In today's video, we're going to take a look at the conditional operator. So let's start with a simple problem here. So let's say we have a uh, we have two numbers, and what we want is uh, to read those numbers from the user input, let's say, and we want to print the maximum between those two, right? So we can start here with just declaring x and y. All right, then I'm gonna use scanf. I'm gonna use the underscore s version, but you can use the version without underscore s, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna read x here and the same for y. So I'm just gonna read both numbers one after the other. And then what I'm gonna do is take in the max out of those two and print it on the screen. But first, what I'm gonna do is actually uh, store that maximum inside a variable. So let's say here int max and what do we do usually when we want to do this? We want to first assign to the variable max the value of x if x is maximum or y if otherwise, right? So we're going to start with an if statement. If x is larger than y, then we know that we want to assign the value x to, well, the max uh, variable. Otherwise, well, otherwise it's either that x is equal to y, so it doesn't matter which we assign, or that y is higher. So I'm gonna just say max equals y in this case. And then I'm gonna just simply print in here uh, maximum is percent %d, I'm gonna give it the max variable. And if I try to run this now, and it's waiting for my input, let's say I'm gonna give it 12 and five, I'm gonna get maximum is 12. So that's very straightforward, I think. Now the conditional operator, what it does is basically whenever you have this uh, if else statement where you need a value, right, x or y in the same place, here we're just assigning it to max, then you can use the uh, conditional operator. So instead of writing all these lines, what we can do is simply say max equals to, and here's the kicker, we can place in the condition here, and then a uh, question mark. Now after the question mark, we say what we want max to be assigned if this uh, is true. Well, if this is true, we want max to be the value x. So we simply place in x here and a colon here. And after the colon, you say what you want uh, max to be if this is actually false. So if this is false, basically here, we want it to be y. So I'm gonna say here y. Okay, and I'm gonna just comment all this out uh, like that. And if I try to run this again, you'll notice if I say 12 and five, I'm gonna get the same result. So this is the conditional operator or the ternary operator. That's, the, that's its other name. Uh, they call it a ternary operator because it's the only operator that takes in three operands. So we have the first, which is the condition then we get the value if it's true, if the condition is true, and then we get the value if the condition is false, right? So this is why it's called the ternary operator, but it's not quite correct because it's the only ternary operator. If, there, if uh, down the line we get more ternary operators, we're just gonna create confusion due to that. So please do call it the conditional operator whenever you want to use it. So now you'll notice that this uh, conditional operator, like any other operator, gives you a result value, right? So uh, this whole thing evaluates to a single value, either x or y, and then it gets assigned to our max variable. You don't have to use it just for assignment, you can use it for anything else, just this structure. Keep in mind uh, this fact that it returns or evaluates to a value. So some people use it the wrong way and I want to clarify this. Uh, basically, you'll notice that I store the max here inside a variable and I print it at the end. But what if I just print it straight away, right? Instead of actually 
uh, storing it inside a variable. What if I want to do that? And can I use the conditional operator there? Well, if I comment out all this, right? Uh, and I somehow try to use the condition operator, let's say x is bigger than y, if that is true, I want just to print f, uh, well, let's say just the value x. And otherwise, if x is less or equal than y, I just want to print f the value <clears throat> y here. Now, if I try to run this, or even just compile it, notice it, it's fine. If I run it, it's, well, technically okay, I'm gonna get the result. And you might notice that this works, but the issue is that the conditional operator is made to actually evaluate to a value. But in our case, we just print f. And printf, even though it does, it does return a, an int, it's going to be the same whether or not x is higher or lower than y, right? And in this situation, I really suggest you just use an if else statement, right? It's just much easier to read than to think that, oh, this should return a value to somewhere, but it's never used. And in some other languages, this is not even allowed. It's going to give you an error. Another misuse of the conditional operator is that sometimes people want to uh, use it without the else statement, without the part after the colon. So you just kind of try to remove that. But you notice that if I try to build this, I'm gonna get an error. Uh, so this is not allowed because, well, if this is true, I'm still gonna get X. But if this is false, it makes no sense, right? If this is false, well, there's no value to be evaluated there. And there's no default value that it evaluates to. It doesn't, like, if you don't give it a uh, else value, you're not gonna get a zero or something. It's just nothing. <clears throat> and the value cannot be nothing. It has to be something in there to evaluate to because it needs a value to assign to max in this case. So this is why you have to have both this part and this part of the operator. But if you have a sort of default value, you can place it either here or here. So if I want here, for example, zero, simple enough, I can just do that. And that's really all there is to it, to the condition operator. Very, I think it's very simple. It just, you have to remember that it always evaluates to a value here, right? You're just taking the condition of the if right here, and then you're taking the if value, if the condition is true or the value if the condition is false and you put it there on the same line. Now don't overuse this. If the if the line is a bit too long and you have way too many characters in it, I suggest you still use an if statement, but in this case, it's very short and it's straightforward. If you do have any questions, do leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.